Hey everyone, Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards here. I've done a lot of previous work on collation of baseball rack packs, but what about football rack packs? Uh, one of the most iconic years of the 1980s uh, is the 1984 top set, and that's because you have the John Elway rookie, the Dan Marino rookie, the Eric Dickerson rookie, uh, a lot of other uh, really awesome rookie cards are in this set. And 1984 Topps Baseball is well known for having collation irregularities. And 1984 Topps Football is actually no different. There are some really, really uh, interesting uh, irregularities that exist in 1984 Topps Football rack packs, just like in uh, the Topps Baseball rack packs. And remember, when we talk about collation, it's about which sheets of cards can appear in a given cell of a rack, right? And if you're wondering which sheet a card was cut from, you can turn the card over and look at the back and cards in the 80s, you will typically see a letter on the back of the card, a very small letter. This is the sheet of the card, uh, the sheet that the card was cut from. So this is, it's kind of hard to tell on this example, but Elway is a B sheet card. The Merino is also a B sheet card. Okay, and if there weren't coalition irregularities, that what we should see is we should see the Elway and the Marino appearing in only a, a specific cell of 1984 Topps racks, right? The Marino could, uh, should be in only either the header cell, the middle, middle cell, or the end cell, and that's it. The, the, the Marino shouldn't be possible in different cells, right? The, it, it should be very consistent. Well, what's interesting is because of the irregularities that exist, we see quite a bit of movement in the location of the Merino as well as the location of the Elway, um, and really a lot of the other key rookies as well. And so really, really interesting rack pack combinations are possible when collation goes out the window. And I've done a lot of work on this in regards to baseball, but football of this year is no different. For whatever reason, Tops just didn't have their collation, uh, uh, you know, uh, in order, if you will. Uh, and we see some, uh, some really interesting irregularities. So for example, this is the Merino in the middle cell of an 84 tops rack. This is an authenticated example of Merino in the middle. He's in the middle in quite a few, but he's also in the cell furthest from the header. If, if there was consistent collation, if there's no irregularities, Merino should only be in one of these cells and that's it. This should not be possible for him to be in this cell. And as I'll demonstrate in a little bit, it gets even more uh, unusual when we look at some of the cards that uh, some of the racks that have multiple Merino showing. <laughs> this is an example of the Elway, right? We see Elway in this BBC authenticated example furthest from the header. In another BBC authenticated example, he's in the middle cell, right? Again, so this shouldn't be happening, right? Elway should be in a, in a specific cell and that is it. We shouldn't see this, this variation. This is how you know you're looking at a year that has collation irregularities. And what's even more insane are racks that have multiples showing, right? And I've shown you already that the Merino uh, in authenticated racks was in the middle cell on top and in the cell furthest from the header on top. This rack pack has two Merinos showing on the back. The Merino's in the middle cell, but the Merino is also in the header cell. So the Merino can appear anywhere. And sometimes you get these insane combinations where you have a legitimate pack. This has been wrapped by Steve Hart. That it has two Merino showing on the back in different cells. And we see the same thing with Elway. We see in this example, two Elway showing on back, Elway in the middle, Elway in the header. So the Elway can appear in any cell. The Merino can appear in any cell. This is a big sign again, that you have collation irregularities. And in what is might be the most insane football rack I've ever seen, this 84 tops rack has two Eric Dickerson rookies showing on top. And as, a, as an added bonus, it has an uh, Eric Dickerson uh, uh, insert card in the, in the header cell. So three Eric Dickerson showing on top. This is absolutely a one of one. If there's another one of these out there, um, I will renounce everything I know about rack packs. Uh, this is this is not going to happen again. But it goes to show you the extreme 
extreme uh, 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 outcomes that can happen when collation goes out the window. You just get some really, really sick, cool, unusual, rare rack packs. And so uh, let me know uh, your thoughts as always in the comments below. I might try to do some more football uh, collation uh, videos. If you guys like this one, let me know. Hope you all have a great rest of your week. Keep collecting finished baseball.